Of all the banks and braes of bonnie Scotland, none holds more fascination than the murky waters of Loch Ness and its fabled monster. One man who firmly believes in the legend is a lowly Sassanac called Frank So. For seven years, Londoner So has scanned the lock for sight and sound of its elusive tenant. He's a firm believer that the monster or monsters exist, and his Lockside Museum sustains interest in Nessie herself. Sightings of Ness's submarine beast range from the report by St. Columba in the 6th century to Sir Peter Scott's artistic interpretation of recent American underwater photography. Frank Searle has written a book on the subject. Interest in Loch Ness's popular beastie never seems to wane. And since 1930, the sightings, though irregular, have been strangely persistent. Of course, for almost half a century, Nessie has been a cartoonist's dream. Frank Searle doesn't scoff. One day, patient vigilance will bring him and that bashful monster face to face. Who can tell? The monster may be as really a nice, friendly soul. Only the dark depths of Loch Ness hold the answer. One man waits for that ultimate rendezvous. <laughs>